This is a Magic Mobility Frontier V6 power chair. Now, this is one of a kind power chair. This is a six wheel power chair, but this is considered an extreme power chair just because of the frame, the power, the size of the low pressure tires. This power chair has 17 miles, so it's practically brand new, 17 miles. This is the first one that I've ever got in here where it's fully loaded. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric leg. So this V6 Frontier Extreme Power Chair has got all four functions, all four functions on this power chair. So all the functions on this power chair have to be worked through the joystick. So you would go to the joystick right here and you would go where it says mode right here, hit the mode button and then you have your seat pictures. Move the joystick until you see what you want for the function and then move your joystick back and your seat will start going up. So now this chair, the seat will start roughly at 22 inches when it's down and you're gonna get 12 inches. Now this is a slow riding seat, rising seat, so you gotta give it a few seconds to get to the top. So 22, add 12, you'll be at 34 inches. And the nice thing about this seat, once you raise all the way to the top, you can still drive the chair with the seat tilted, uh, raised all the way up. So if I put it back in drive, you can see how the chair still will drive with the seat elevated. Now while we have the seat elevated, let's look at the base of this, let's look at the base of this chair, okay? We've got right here, 14 inch, these are air tires, 14 inch low pressure, low pressure tires so they have good traction and they're knobby. You can see the knobs are all brand new in the tires. You have large caster wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front and these caster wheels are double fork. It's not just one sided. They're held by two forks, one on each side to hold the wheel in. We've got the suspension here for the back of this chair and you can see it can be adjusted. There's the suspension. You can see the motor here for the seat lift. You can see this chair is super clean. It's well it's practically brand new. Okay, and you have an anchor point here to tie your chair to your lift or to your van and you have another one up front right here. You have two on each side. This is the anchor point you would use for your chair uh, to tie your lift or your van to tie to secure it so you need to transport your chair. Also, I'm going to show you the front of the chair. You can actually see the motors right there. There's two motors in the front. Those black cylinders right here are the black motors. These are 800 watts motors. They're 800 watt a piece. That's a total of 1600 watts of power. Two motors, they're inline motors. They go directly to the wheels. These are heavy duty motors. If you needed to put this chair in neutral, each motor has a lever in front. You can see if I turn the power off right here, there's a lever here and if you push it down, now your chair is in neutral. Push the lever up and the motors are back in gear. So these are heavy duty 800 watt extreme motors. I'm going to turn the power back on. We're going to turn the chair back. Now the noise you hear, it's because the drive tires are air so it's going to give you a squish on this kind of floor that I have here. Okay, so I'm going to bring the seat back down. And while we, the seat is going down, we're going to talk about the swing away joystick. So here you've got a swing away joystick. Whoop. So if you're left handed, we can switch the joystick to the left side. No problem at all. So this is called a swing away joystick. Many chairs have these. They're great because you can get closer to a table and um, that would help you right there. I'm going to bring the joystick back and the joystick locks back up once you get back to the front. This is called your swing away joystick. Now on this chair, the arms do not, yes, they do raise up. Okay, so you can raise them up this way. There's a little lever right here. So you push the lever forward and the arms will raise up. Okay, now the second option I'm gonna show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is the base right here, all this whole base going back. So if the base go back, goes back, it's going to take the legs and it's going to take the back with it. So, so that's called the electric tilt right now going back. 
and let's just see how far it's going to go back. Okay, that's, a, that's as far as it'll go. The next one I'm going to do are the legs, the feet. So these are your feet. Now they can be adjusted. If you're five feet tall or six foot three, we can adjust these legs. Of course, if you're sitting in a chair, these will not fall. So if you needed some circulation, so this is what it would look like if you're sitting in a chair all the way back. Now that's a lot of uh, tilting, but if you only went halfway tilted, you would still have good circulation. So if you were just about here, they still won't stay up. You can see the difference right there. And I'm going to bring the seat back down. Okay, and the last function we're going to do is called the electric recline. The electric recline is just the back, whoop, going the wrong direction. Okay, so the recline is forward on this, on this one. You got to push the joystick forward for the recline to go back. This chair is so well built, there's two motors, there's one on each side for the recline. So this is your electric recline right here. And we'll see how far it goes. Everything in this chair is built very, very solid. So if you were laying in your chair, and the, the headrest of course is fully adjustable. This is a contoured back which we'll cover in a minute. This is what it would look like if you were laying in your chair flat. I'm gonna bring the, I'm gonna bring the recline back up. While the recline comes back up, we're gonna talk about the safety belt. The safety belt that comes with this chair is a automatic retract. So when you put it in here, okay, and you let it go, just like in your car, it retracts. It's not gonna sit, uh, the problem we have with a lot of power chairs, if they're not retractable strap, they'll get caught up in the actuators in the back. So this one has a full retractable uh, safety belt. We're going to bring the legs back down. There we go. All right, so let me turn the chair around. Let me get it out of the seat mode. Let me turn the chair around so you can see it. I'm going to turn the speed down so we don't get in trouble here. So let's look at the seat on this chair. The seat is 20, um, 20 inches wide by 22 deep. 20 inches wide by 22 deep. So it's a large seat. I cannot change the seat on this chair. So if you're going to buy this chair, I'm not going to size up this seat. This is what you're getting. 22 by 20, 20 wide by 22 deep. You'll be outside anyway uh, with this chair. This is a contoured back. So when you're sitting in here, you're well contoured and you're staying in one position. You've got your headrest, which is fully adjustable back here. It's a mid-wheel drive chair, so it'll turn on its own length. This chair will go 6.2 miles an hour outside. So it's a pretty fast chair. But the nice thing about this chair is the suspension on this chair. When you're outside in the yard and you have anything in the yard, a stick or a bump, what's nice about this chair is the suspension. If you watch me raise the front, you'll see what I'm talking about. Look how far I can raise that front end. All the way up to here, that's about five inches. The suspension is fantastic on this power chair. So as I said, the chair is, is pretty heavy. It probably weighs minimum of 400 pounds. Okay, the chair is about 42 inches long with the foot plate flipped up. 42 inches long, and from here to the outside is roughly 28 inches, 27 and a quarter, 27 and a half. Just figure 28 inches from here to the outside. So it's a pretty heavy chair. Of course, it's called it's an extreme power chair. I would not use this chair in the house. It's just too big and too cumbersome. Tires make a lot of noise. 
You can always order different tires. If you don't want the air tires, you can order the regular tires, which are solid. They're a little bit smaller and you can maybe use it in the house. But with these fat, low pressure, outside extreme tires, it makes it very noisy in the house. When you charge this chair, you will take your charger and you'll plug it right here. And as soon as the light turns from orange to green, you're full. The charger will start charging automatically. This chair has two batteries in here. The distance you'll get on a travel for this chair is about 20, 22 miles. That's a lot of distance, 20, 22 miles. Of course, if you're going up the hill all the time, you're not gonna get that. It depends on the weight of the user, what kind of traveling you're doing. The mileage will be more or less. It's different for everybody, okay? So let's recap. We've got a Magic Mobility Frontier V6 Extreme Power Chair. This is for people who want to do some extreme riding outside. Uh, this chair has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs. It has the swing away joystick. It has a large 20 by 22 seat. It's a contoured back, so it keeps you in the back of the seat, just like a race car. You can see the suspension back here, the anchor points for the back. You can see the headrest, how solid and well built everything is. We've got the retractable belt on here. You can see the retractable belt on this side. And we've got the flip up arms right here. So this is one of a kind power chair, fully loaded with 17 miles ready to go. You can actually see the front wheel go off the ground when I take off. Right here for a second. Oh, well, that's no problem with this chair. All right, let's see what it does in the ditch. All right, I'm gonna go in the ditch. All right, then we're gonna come up. Wow, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Do that again. All right, that was probably the frame. All right, go back up again. We got a branch. All right. You can see how much fun I have with this chair. There's a, there's a three inch gap there when I come up that concrete. It just went up, jumped it with no problem at all. Um, 6.2 miles an hour, the top speed going that away. Whoa, you can see when you turn, the wheels come off the ground. That's, I'm on the fifth speed now, so I'm gonna bring it back down. I'm gonna bring the seat up on this chair. So you can see the seat elevated. So again, the seat is going up right now, but on this power chair, on this model, the seat takes a long time. It's just the way it's designed, and it's, it's so quiet, I can't, I can't even hear it. I have to look at the ground, see when the ground stops moving, to tell me the seat is elevated all the way up. And another thing I'll to, I'm gonna mention about the tilt, which I will show you in a minute. All right, so, okay. I'm all the way up. I'm going to put it back on drive. And this chair will still drive with the seat elevated. And it'll drive at a reduced speed. Now I'm going to bring the seat back down. I'm going to show you something else here. All right, so when you're making the seat go up or down, you have, it takes two seconds for the, for the control to respond. So even though, you, even though you're holding it forward and it's not going to give it about one and a half second, it'll start going down like it's doing now, okay? Now what some people do with these types of chair, if you have, an, if you have a hill, if you're going down a hill, it's pretty steep. Um, some people are getting nervous. What you can do with these chairs is do this. So, let me put it on tilt. What you do 
if you have an eel that's pretty steep going down, what some people do, it's tilt their seat up like this, and then put it back in drive, and you can go down that hill almost level because you tilt it back. It won't feel like you're making you fall down. And again, it's the opposite if you're going uh, uphill. Um, but downhill, this would, this would help you like this. And of course, on the tilting, it's letting you have more power, more speed, because if you're going down the hill, I'm sorry, this way, down a hill, uh, I'm going to put it back down. So let's recap. This is one of my favorite chair of all times. This is the, the Magic Mobility Frontier V6 power chair, 12-inch seat lift electric tilt, electric recline, electric leg, swing away joystick. It has the low pressure 14 inch tires. It has the retractable belt. Just the suspension you already saw in the video. If you want to have a chair and you want to have a lot of fun, this is the chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.